Hey everybody, welcome back to Mad Horse Barbecue. My name is Brian and in today's video we're going to be firing up the new to me A Smoke pellet grill here. I believe this is an A Smoke A300 that, you know, long and behold my dad gave me, you know, because he's a legend and has 50 grills. Uh, we're going to do that smoked cream cheese on here. Now I got two bricks of cream cheese inside. Uh, this is going to be a very, you know, fairly simple video because from all the videos I've watched you just do 250 for about two hours and that's about it. You can season it up how you want. Uh, one of these I'm going to season up how I want with some tailgaters. And then the other one we're going to season up how the girlfriend wants. And I think we're going to do a little bit of like uh, Texas pepper jelly or like some jalapeno jelly or something on it. Uh, but either way, it should be good. Perfect snack for uh, NFL Sunday today. Uh, Skull Vikings. But uh, pretty excited. I've used this uh, new pellet grill quite a few times already. And what's really cool about it is, you know, it's portable. You know, any grill's portable. You know, if you try hard enough, like have you ever heard of, you know, like the, the term, anything's a hammer if you try hard enough, well, any kind of grill as well is portable uh, if you try enough. But uh, anyways, got this thing fired up, gonna cook it at 250 today. So let's take you inside and uh, let's get the bricks of cream cheese seasoned up and uh, go from there. So come on in. All right, up in the kitchen. And like I said, all we got here is just regular old two blocks of uh, the Philadelphia cream cheese. Uh, one of these is gonna have tailgaters on it. And the other one is for the prettier person in the house. Uh, but she has worse taste. Uh, the other ones that I have no seasoning on it whatsoever. So let's go ahead and just get these out of the packages and get them ready. All right, what I see a lot of people do is they kind of just do like a, a little pattern on top. So you know what, I'm gonna do it too. Take my knife, make some diagonals. And then we're gonna take the block. I'm gonna uh, season up and like I said, we're gonna use the Tailgated barbecue party rub. We're just gonna put a coat of rub right on it. And that is gonna be good. So, uh, while the grill, I mean, we're gonna let the grill continue to come up to temp. And once it's up to temp, we'll uh, hop outside and throw these on. All right, out at the A smoke. This thing's just about up to temp. So, let's go ahead and get the cream cheese thrown on. Just like that, go ahead and close this thing down. And uh, we'll pick back up probably in about an hour just to kind of see how they're doing. Um, and check the internal, not, we're not gonna check the internal, but we'll pick back up in like an hour. All right, been going for about an hour now, take a peek at the cream cheese. There it is. See that A smoke putting out some good smoke. Maybe that's why they call it A smoke. But uh, yeah, cream cheese is looking pretty good. Uh, you can kind of see it split on me a little more than I would, you know, hope it would. But anyways, you know, it's cream cheese, it's gonna make it dip, it'll be fine. Uh, I think the only thing, that would be a, considered a failure on this as if he came out and it was just a puddle. But anyways, I've uh, been going for about an hour. I'm gonna close it down and let it go for about another hour. So uh, we'll be picking back up one last time uh, when we're upstairs trying this out. So we'll see you in about an hour. All right, so we've been on right for about hour 45, hour 50 minutes. This stuff's probably about done. Uh, but we're, what we're gonna do with the one block is we got some uh, jalapeno uh, pepper jelly here and that's gonna go on the one block. So let's just go ahead and do that now. Just gonna see if we can spoon it on. Kinda like this. That's how the girlfriend wants it, so. so this should, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it sit on here for about 10 minutes, so it should kinda melt down uh, into it. That'll work just like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this thing back down, let it go for about another 10 minutes, and uh, we'll see you inside. All right, up in the kitchen, uh, here is the smoked cream cheese. Brick on the right has some of that uh, jalapeno pepper jelly on it. Brick on the left is the tailgater barbecue party rub. Um, my little cross hashing uh, didn't, it kind of turned out ugly. I thought it, in my mind it would have looked cooler, but it just, you know, it didn't. But whatever, it's cream cheese. Um, real quick, over the cook times, two hours at 250. Um, internal temp is whatever the internal temp is. Um, just, yeah, I mean, if you're internal, I mean, if you're doing internal temp on cheese, uh, yeah, I mean, hey, more power to you. But anyways, let's just go ahead and give it a try. Uh, first one I'm gonna try is the tailgaters. So I'm just gonna take a little little Ritz cracker here. Go ahead and try the tailgaters. Yeah. That's pretty good. Um, that's a, definitely a game day snack right there for you, though. Um, you know, you're not gonna eat a meal. Well, you could eat a meal. 
on it because you know you'll fill up on cheese and crackers pretty good but that's pretty good let's go ahead and try one with the texas pepper jelly on it or the jalapeno pepper jelly right here uh, again really 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 good um if the one with the jelly had some seasoning on it it'd probably be a little better but i'm a fan of seasoning uh, my girlfriend has bland taste but anyways but i think this is a you know a success you know, i could see me doing this for you know this is like an easy you know game time snack you know you know if people are over um doesn't take really any prep work at all to do it alone you know you can do it on any grill but if you got pellet grills you can do a lot of this so now that's about all i got um hope i uh, found this video informative um and if you did give it a shot because i think you really like it so now besides that i'm going to sign off um if you like the video please uh, subscribe and hit that notification bell because i'm a guy who likes to drink bush light buy smokers and smoke meat so uh See you next time.